Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Aaron Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be checking out an awesome ATR-72-600 Scandinavian airline plane. Now, we're going to be doing a little mission over from the mainland all the way up to the Arctic with a few little things that we need to do along the way. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and remember the little bell icon to be notified from upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And don't forget to join my Discord and also follow me over on Twitter for any updates way before it hits YouTube. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So I said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. And getting started, we have a lovely little mission that we're going to be doing. We're going to be checking out the ATR-72-600 and we're going to be using a uh, little stair trolley to get all the passengers up into the plane. And we're going to be making a nice little flight over to the Arctic today. So this plane, I haven't actually checked out. It looks really cool. I love the design that he's gone and used on this. Uh, it looks absolutely phenomenal, I think. And obviously it's in a Scandinavian uh, livery here. So let's go and get everyone loaded, I think, to start off with. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the uh, door on this side and let's go and get the stair trolley. And we're going to use the stair trolley to actually get all the passengers up into it. So I think we can just go and get the ignition on. And we should be able to go and drive and get this in position here. And we'll just move ourselves forward. Okay, and let's start getting the actual stairs up. And you can see it's kept the front nice and level for us. And I think that should be more or less fine. So we can start moving forward. Okay. Angle to the right a bit. And I think that's good. So let's see. Can we... Is there any way to lock that on? Possibly. Let's get the brakes on. So, okay. So brakes are automatic, I think. So we should be able to... That's the throttle lever. Yep. That looks pretty good to me. Let's get the mangles on so we're obviously not going to move here. Uh, let's start rounding up all the passengers that need to get onto this plane. Just tell them they need to start boarding. Cool. So let's get all these people in the plane. That should be everyone now following me. And hopefully they should be able to just go and follow me up here. I was hoping at least they would, but it doesn't look like they are. Seems like they are kind of getting in there. So let's hope, let's hope they are. Let's get uh, some of these in the seats here. I like how he's actually gone and named all of these seats, which is really cool. So you can see there, if you hover over it, he's got 13C, 13A, 13B. So you can actually go and put them all in here. So that is really quite nice. Lovely detailing. Now, I think we've got most of the passengers, but I think a few of them might have got lost on the way out there. So we're not going to have to get... <laughs> Get the ground crews and maybe get them inside the plane, but we'll see. Let's go and try and place these guys in their seats. Cool, let's see how many of them are. Okay, so it looks like only two of them kind of got lost, so we'll ask him to follow us. And you can follow us, please, sir. And you can also follow us. And there seems to be another one here, so you can follow me too. And let's place one there. Let's get another one in. And are we missing any? Don't think we are. I think that's pretty much everyone. Hopefully no one has got lost. Oh, there we go. Oh, knew there was one or two more that got lost along the way. So we'll get everyone in. Uh, and before we detach the stair trolley, we'll actually get everything started up and make sure everything is working. Now, we could have actually used a staircase on the side of the plane, if I'm correct. There is one just over here. So there's cabin door, which they could have just gone up. So that's quite cool there. We also have some cargo space here at the back if need be. So let's get everything started running as when we get our engines up and going. So we've got captain and first officer, I'll go to the captain's seat. A couple of different controls in this, but as far as I'm aware, it is pretty straightforward in how to actually run this uh, plane. So taxi lights will need on just now, learning light no, logo light yes. Strobe and navigation and beacon will get on. Uh, looks like center fuel pump, wing fuel pump, and propeller brake, APU, APU mode, so we will need that in a few minutes. Uh, we've got engine starts, battery, anti-ice, and emergency batteries. Okay, so let's get battery on. Let's go and get our fuel pumps on and our brakes. So hotel mode, yep, cool. Let's get our engine started. Don't need any of the lights on just yet. Uh, we'll get overhead panel, seatbelt signs on, external power. We don't actually have any external power, if I'm correct. We'll get everything running. You can see that one propeller actually is moving and the other one isn't. 
Uh, that's because it's in hotel mode yeah we don't need anything else on if I'm correct uh, we can get some dome lights and panel lights on uh, trim we don't need flaps we don't need and condition level nope we don't need fuel page MFD nope parking brake is on great uh, I think it's now about time we can go and get this disconnected I am just going to use the stair trolley just to <laughs> try to actually get this plane a little bit more lined up I don't think I can I think it's locked oh wait can we get into reverse yeah let's see See if I can try and just move this plane ever so slightly straight again. Seems to have just gone a little bit crooked. Cool. Just reverse ever so slightly. Just want to get that nose on that line there for a bit. Okay. Cool. So we are on brakes now. We should be good. Just going to stay clear of that propeller because I do not want to touch that. Uh, let's get disconnected there on our stair trolley. Uh, let's go in and let's get it to reverse and let's reverse out of here okay and let's get reverse off and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and park the stair trolley just over there out the way it's a really nice looking plane let's get the ignition on again and let's move forward and let's get it out the way here he's done a really great job with the design i think well, let's just move this stair trolley out the way here and park it just over there. I'll get the ignition off, brakes off. Uh, do we need the lever? What is the lever? Just up and down. Okay, so let's get that down. Great, and let's get into the plane. Now, we can just go and close that and we'll go up the back way, staying far away from the propellers, of course. Yeah, uh, let's just get up into the plane. I don't have any co-pilot today. Uh, we also have some toilets and things at the back there, but I think everything is good to go. Um, we have some cabin dimmer lights. No. Cool. Let's get that on the weakest setting here. Great, just ready for takeoff. We're going to get our actual door closed. Fantastic. So we are good to go here. We're going to get hotel mode off. Okay, get all that off and ready to go. So both our propellers are now running. Uh, let's get our taxi lights on too, because we are going to be taxiing out onto the runway here. We are probably going to be taking off in let's see so we're going to taxi down the runway there and we'll take off in a northerly direction up for the arctic uh we are pretty much ready to go throttle is good uh pretty much everything else is good to go here so i think we could probably start actually getting up and ready to move let's see we can get our parking brake off let's get our throttle ups a bit and we should be moving a bit forward now Great, and then we can use our nose steering here just to kind of get ready and do the taxi. Probably get brakes off. Let's get throttle up a bit more. Okay, and then we'll start to move down across. Throttle down. And let's taxi along here. I love how he's also used um, spotlights here for the beacon lights and navigation and strobes. It looks really nice. You can see that lovely blinking that we get. And even the logo light there on the tail looks absolutely incredible. He's done a really good job. Yeah, so let's taxi off here. Jump back into the cockpit here for a bit. Now he could have used, I would have liked to have seen some, possibly some modded windows here just to get more of a cleaner look. Because as you can see here now, we're looking out, we're looking directly into a beam for the actual glass there but that's fine it still looks absolutely incredible uh let's go and just finish our taxiing here to get on the runway don't think we need to refuel i think we've got more than enough fuel cool let's go and get lined up here nose staring is doing really good he's done a really good job with that too Great, and let's go. We don't need clearance to taxi. We are the only plane at this airport today, so we are fine. We're gonna get lined up on the runway here. Let's go and get our throttle done. And then we're gonna get our nose wheel brakes on. Cool, so brakes are on, ready to go. Get a parking brake on, get the wheel brakes off. Cool. Okay, we're going to get throttle up here, just checking if everything else. We can probably get our uh, taxi lights, we can get our landing lights ready to go, or takeoff lights. Everything else is on, fuel pumps on, engines on, aircon, why not? Let's get aircon on, 
Anti-ice we don't need. External power, nope. Everything else is good here. Let's check heading hold. Uh, we'll probably get that once we're up in the air. Altitude, we're going to do a nice cruising of 400 today. Uh, along with that is gear up and down. We'll get sorted once we take off there. I think everything else is pretty much good to go. Let's go and get our throttle all the way up here. Let's get our wheel brake off. Should start bringing our throttle up here. Start pulling up. Ooh, that was a very quick takeoff. Okay, great. Well, that was quite easy. Let's go and get our gear up. And you can see our gear is nicely folding away there. That looks absolutely incredible now. Great. Once we've got that, we can probably get our uh, landing lights off. We're going to get our altitude hold set. Okay. 400 and for our altitude here. Okay, I think that's feet. So we probably want to change that to about a thousand feet if he's using it in feet. Um, so we're about level at a thousand feet now, which is fine for us to go and get up to the Arctic here. And in terms of heading, we are pretty much good on our heading, I think. We are heading pretty much straight. So our heading currently at the moment is, let's see, 351. So let's go and put in a 351 heading hold and get that set on to go. Our reverse thrust we won't need. We'll need that for our landing. Uh, navigation radio, we are fine. XPR, we're fine with everything else. And we can pretty much now, I think, maybe throttle down ever so slightly. Our speed is around 130, 140. 40 more or less dome lights are good everything else is pretty much it's just so easy to fly this plane funny enough um really really easy and really quite nice and you can see here we are now just cruising over uh the actual train line here going up into the arctic so we've got a little bit of flight ahead of us i think we have roughly probably around what 30 minutes 35 minute flight up to the arctic uh, and we've got some beautiful views along the way. So what I'll do is I'll meet you guys back when we are just coming up to the Arctic. So we're just coming up to about halfway to up to the Arctic here. You can see the sun is going down just on the left here and it's actually starting to snow. Um, so it's getting a little bit colder up here on the flight. So I'm just going to check the actual cavern temperature. It's about 21. So we find we've got the aircon on and we've also got the wing anti-ice and the prop anti-ice on. So I'm not really too concerned about um, the temperature down the back. And obviously we can just leave the plane to fly for a bit. Uh, and we can just go check on the passengers. And they seem like they, they're doing fine over here. Uh, so let's just go and check. So doors, toilets are fine. Little coffee machine things are fine here. Obviously cargo hold. We didn't have any cargo hold in the first place. So I'm not really too worried about that. And I actually don't know how we could go and close it. There we go. Uh, so yeah, let's head back over into the cockpit here now that everyone's fine We can obviously close that door and get back into the pilot seat uh, We are doing fine here. We're going really nicely and smoothly uh, You can see I've got a waypoint down there. So I might actually adjust our heading ever so slightly um, Let's do a heading of 355 and see how that's going to adjust us for our course coming into the Arctic here in about 50 k's. So yeah, when we're a little bit closer, I'll meet back here with you guys and we'll come in for our approach into the Arctic here. So we're just coming up to the Arctic now and you can see the sun is already coming up just here on our right and we can get a beautiful view of that coming up into the Arctic. It really looks beautiful. Obviously got a little bit of snow uh, up here, but otherwise conditions are pretty good now. I'm not too sure what kind of heading we need to come into the airport. Uh, I'm not 100% sure just yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is now we're about 10 k's away from that. We're going to start decreasing our throttle ever so slightly. And we're also going to possibly actually lower altitude. Uh, so let's get to around, let's go, so 1,000 feet. Start dropping an altitude. And we're going to obviously start bringing our flaps down here. We're going to go to about position uh, 3. So let's see if we can bring that down cool so we're on the flap three here so hopefully we should be countering that and also dropping our altitude at the same time so you can see actually altitude's going up so we might actually need to go to a manual so let's go over to manual controls now and we're going to come in for our approach into the arctic airstrip there so you can see just in the far distance um so i'm just trying to see what kind of angle we are going to need I've got a waypoint down but i'm actually going to remove that waypoint uh, in a few seconds now there we go 
so you can see over there so what we're going to do is let's go and start banking to the right ever so slightly and let's also just keep an eye on our speed our speeds around 100 which is perfect for um, obviously getting down we're going to be bringing our landing gear down also so we can watch that come out Ooh, that looks really nice he's done a really good job with that landing gear and it hides away perfectly so you can see the airport is just down there so we're going to go head down that direction and then we're going to start obviously dropping some altitude and then we'll come around for our final actual landing over there in the arctic airport there so we're going to keep on going down a bit almost kind of following the line of the train tracks here we can kind of head in there which is actually a good reference point funny enough so we're going to keep on dropping our altitude here we're going to do quite a little bit of a low fly over the arctic uh, mainland over there in a few seconds let's keep it banking to the left ever so slightly and doesn't look nice over here flying over the arctic absolutely beautiful i can see the large mountain there in the background actually i don't know if i've gone over to that mountain before funny enough all the all the years i played stormworks i don't know if i've actually gone up that mountain it's something interesting to probably see i don't know you guys let me know in the comments do you think we should go maybe try and hike up or climb up that mountain sometime in a future video I think it'll be pretty fun okay so we're going to start making a little bit of a left bank here for our approach onto the runway trying to keep the nose down a bit obviously the flaps are fighting us as soon as we've got the landing flaps just to slow us down and we should be coming up for a nice head on approach here perfect look at that almost perfect on our approach and we're going to start lining up with the runway and then we also want to get the reverse thrusters ready there we go and then we're going to drop our thrust as soon as we hit the ground there and we also need some parking or some brakes on and brakes will be our up and down okay so let's get lined up here maybe a little bit more to the right looking good so far keep the nose down maybe switch down over there let's get the nose down a bit uh, up okay bring her down ever so slightly brakes on let's get throttle down here and keep the nose down at the same time Look at that, that was so quick in terms of how it stopped. I guess the reverse thrust there is really working well. Okay, so let's see if we can just taxi in here. So we're gonna get the brakes off and let's go and keep make sure our throttle keeps down. And we can just go and taxi in. Hopefully we can go and taxi in. Let's get the brakes on. Cool, brakes off and let's go and just throttle up a bit. See if we can just come into our actual area where we're meant to finish off with the passengers so we'll just move into here ever so slightly just taxiing in there let's make a nice little turn let's get the throttle down and there we go we've stopped let's get brakes on uh, we're going to get everything off so we can probably go and get our pu on get that ready aircon can get off anti-ice can get off Battery can stay on, we don't need any of that. Uh, we can get all our panel lights, seatbelt signs on and off. Let's get all of our lights off. Uh, everything else is pretty much good to go. Uh, we can actually start, I guess, offloading some passengers here. Uh, so let's go and open up our cabin here. Passengers have seemed like they've had a good flight, um, which is good. Let's see if we can just open up our walkway here to go out. There we go, we can get some cabin lights nice and bright now for our passengers obviously to get out of the plane and there we are this is a stunning little plane uh really really nice then moving forward i feel like it's moving forward did i not put the brakes on <laughs> i guess i forgot to put the brakes on so let's get the brakes on um probably quite useful um yeah stunning little plane i really like it it's uh i think he's done a really good job with the shape 
of the wings and the shape of the fuselage and pretty much everything about it is absolutely really really nice uh definitely one to check out and want to maybe play around with some cool little missions here in game but as always guys i hope you have enjoyed this little video and found it something entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one